All aboard. That's two of my chords. Boy, two is all I got. <laughs> oh, those two chords with a four-dollar guitar and this year bass string. Man, that's a plenty for me. But Lord, just look around here at who I have in my presence. A little visit with you and you and you and you and bringing along with me my good old friend Coke. Oh, Josh, just hit me one little lick on that dobro. Man, that's warm. Junior boy, how is you? <laughs> Him on the bass. Well, we Alabama bound. There'll be no heebie-jeebies hanging round. Just get the meanest ticket man on earth, oh, all I'm worth. To put my tootsies in on a burr-burr, though hear the choo-choo sound. Ooh. Boys, we got greetings and good wishes for them, is we not? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, they're all happy. It looks like this train and bound for glory, this train. Ooh. This train. This train and bound for glory, this train. Ooh. This train. Yes, sir. This train and bound for glory, don't care nothing but the rights in the holy. This train and bound for glory, this train. Well, uh, this train don't care no clankers, this train. This, this train. train. This train, you don't care no clankers, this train. This, this train. train. This train, you don't care no clankers, no evil thinkers, the moonshine drinkers. This train and bound for glory, this train. Josh, I'm listening to that dope bro, man, I'm listening. <laughs> well, uh, this train, you don't care no joke, it's this train, this, this train. train. This train, you don't care no joke, it's this train, this, this train. train. This train, you don't care no joke, it's no snuff, give us a cigarette smoke, it's this train, and bound for glory, this train. Well, uh, this train, you don't care no pass, it's this train, this train. This train, you don't care no pass, it's this train, this train. Well, this train, no care, no pass, no bobhead women in knee high dresses. This train, I'm bound for glory, this train. Ooh. Well, this train, I'm bound for glory, this train. This train. This train, this train I'm bound for glory, this train. This train. This train, this train I'm bound for glory. Don't care nothing but the rights and the holy. This train, she's bound for glory, this train. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you a little informal visit here with old Dr. Lou, the old boy from Alabama. Lou Childree on this year Alabama Jubilee with my good old friends by my side. I'm telling you, boys, you warm my heart, and I don't mean maybe. Looks like the sun might shine, or it might be rainy weather. It makes no difference, boy. We're always happy if we got our fishing pole in our hand. Is that right, Cope? That is right. And you says okay, didn't you, Josh? Okay. Junior, what did you say? Right, cool. That's a good word for you, boy. Let's all go fishing. Come on, you chillin'. Let's go down to the river, fetch a fishing pole. Let's see what we can catch in that old black blue, blue, blue hole. Everybody's fishing. I said everybody's fishing. Everybody's fishing. Well, everybody's fishing. We just as well to fish some, too. Mmm, somebody better come here. I dropped my line in the water and my cork went down. I jumped up on the log and hollered, look at what old Lou's found. Everybody's fishing. Everybody's fishing. I said everybody's fishing. Everybody's fishing. Well, everybody's fishing. We just as well to fish some too. Ah, oh, Cope, I love that flat top. Was a great big channel cat. He was long and he was slick and he was tight like that. I said, Everybody's fishing. Everybody's fishing. Well, everybody's fishing. Everybody's fishing. Yes, sir. Everybody's fishing. We just as well to fish some too. Boys, how about giving the old doctor a little chance here with his guitar? Listen to this here. Day 
in the morning, Junior. <laughs> well, I fished and I fished till I catch me a gar. I want to put him back in the water, but the times they done getting too hard. I said, everybody's fishing. Everybody's fishing. Everybody's fishing. Everybody's fishing. Well, everybody's fishing. We just as well to fish some too. Oh, we're going to fan the breeze now. Well, I fished, I fished, that's all I do. You might as well come along and fish some too, cause everybody's fishing. Everybody's fishing. I said everybody's fishing. Everybody's fishing. Well, everybody's fishing. We just as well have fish some too. Oh, cast your line, friends. I'm telling you now, if you're too busy to fish, <laughs> you just too busy. That's all I can say. Well, it looks like we might get aboard here and ride the old strawberry roan. We'll go back into the days of long time past. Is that okay with you, Cope? That is all right. Luke. Brush him on the hair side, boy, and here we go in the key of C. Well, I was laying around town just to spend in my time. I was out of a job and not making a dime. When up stepped the fellow and he said, I suppose you brought busting cuz I can tell by your clothes. I said, you got me right, I'm a good one, I claim. Do you happen to have any bad ones to tame? He said, I've got a bad one, a bad one to buck. And throwing good riders, oh, he's had lots of love. Well, he said, it's a ten spot. I said, I'm your man. I can ride in the Bronco on the Rio Grande. No, there never was a Bronco that ever drew breath. That I couldn't ride till he star clear to death. Well, he said, young man, I'm gonna give you a chance. We hopped in the buckboard and we went out to the ranch. And the next morning, well, right after Chuck, we went down to see if this Bronco could buck. Down in the corral, all oh, we stood all alone was this old Cayuse called his strawberry roan. He had little pin ears and they touched at the tip, and a big 44 brand was on his left hip. Well, I put on my hat, I was feeling just fine. Put on my saddle and I took down my twine. Threw a loop on him and I knew right then. Before I rode Mr. Strawberry, I'd earn my ten. Well, I want to tell you people that an outlaw could step. And I knew if I rode him, oh, I'd build up my rep. He went up in the east and come down in the west. I was sitting up there on top of him and I was doing my best. Well, now I lost my stirrup and I lost my hat. I was pulling for leather as blind as a bat. And with one side jump, boy, he made a high dive. And he left me like a buzzard way up there in the sky. Well, I turned 40 flips as I came back to earth. And I lit into cursing the day of his birth. Then I knew there were horses that I couldn't ride. Some of them are living for they haven't all died. Well, I'll saddle up my pony and I'll be on my way. At Bronco busting, well, I've had my day. No, there never was a buster alive that could ride. Old Strawberry, when he makes that high tide. Oh boy! <laughs> we got him rid, didn't hey. we, boys? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Well, well, well. I'm telling you now, we like to visit among you, mama, papa, sister, brother, grandpa, aunt, mama, mom, and just everybody that might be listening in. It makes us mighty happy to come back again any time that you let us come in. Boy, when we talk about the strawberry roll and we'll get down in our good old deep south land. By George, we have one here that fits me when I was a little bit of boy. I used to watch this going on. When they baptize Sister Lucy Lee. And when they baptize Sister Lucy Lee. Everybody in the country come out to see. When old Parson Brown put Sister Lucy down, she hollered, hey, Stop that, Parson. Quit that behavior, you see, Parson. She nearly strangled, and then she rolled her eyes. She hollered, Preacher, man. 
That's where your duty lies. The parson gave three cheers, and, and the crowd volunteered, and the baptized Sister Lucy Lee. Been to baptize Sister Lucy Lee. Everybody in the country come out to see when old Parson Brown put Sister Lucy down. She hollered, Woo hoo! <laughs> Stop that, Parson! Behave yourself! Quit that, Parson! Parson! Behave, Parson! <laughs> oh, Parson! She nearly strangled him, and then she rolled her eyes. She hollered, Preacher man! That's where your duty lies. A parson gave three cheers, and the crowd volunteered, and the baptized Sister Lucy Lee. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> well, when we have a voice like mine, it comes from the Southland, Alabama, you might say. We go way back to a number of years ago, and think about the dearest song to my mama's heart, my late mammy. She used to like to hear me sing this when she said, and I hope you do too. Do you? <laughs> Thank you. The old train that I'm coming, she's coming around the bend. I'm going to climb upon the blinds and a rider to the end. Going back to Alabama and never no more I'll stray. I've roamed around for many years, but I'm going back there to stay. I'm longing for the old plantation Where they sing sweet Adeline The best place in all creation Is that Alabama home of mine It seems that I can wait no longer For that sun to shine Till I get back to my mammy And that Alabama home of mine Hope I like to hear the old flat top boy Great day, that's fine, that's fine well, my old mammy, she's waiting with arms stretched out so wide. Before the sun goes down again, I'm gonna be there by her side. There's my sweetheart Sarah, she'll meet me at the train. We'll settle down up on the farm and I'll never roam again. I'm longing for that old plantation where they sing sweet Adeline. The best place in all creation Is that Alabama home of mine It seems that I can wait no longer For that sun to shine Till I get back to my mammy And that Alabama home of mine <laughs> Oh, you talk about warmth, I'm telling you now, and realizing and feeling good over the personality of these group of boys here, along with old Lou. <laughs> old Lou Childer, the boy from Alabama. You know, I've visited many, many days there. A good old friend there, Junior and Josh and Cope. I kind of about got along to the day where here's a tune that kind of sort of fits me. The wreck of the old 97. <laughs> Was that down the track, Cope? That is right on the Josh, I'm telling you now, we got plenty opening for the dobro in this one. You ready? Well, they gave him his orders in a Monroe, Virginia, sent Pete to way behind time. This ain't 38, but it's old 97. Won't you put her in the center on time? Now, Josh. Well, he looked out and said to his dark, breezy fireman, Oh, we are way behind time. This ain't 38, but it's old 97. Oh, we'll put her in the center on time. It was a mighty rough road from Lynchburg to Danville and a line on a three-mile bridge. 
was on his breeze that he lost his average and you see what a jump he made and he was going down the grade making 90 miles an hour when his whistle broke into a scream josh <laughs> well he was found in the wreck with his hand on the throttle and scalded to death by the steam Oh, now come all you ladies and take fair warning from this time now and on. Never speak hard words to your true loving husband. He may leave you and never return, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> I turned the wheel one last time, I didn't Ooh. I? Oh, yes, sir. Well, we kind of sort of have a variety here on our, what we might call a Alabama Jubilee here with old Lou Childree and all of his good friends joining in with me. Boy, that, that's what makes us all mighty happy to get together again on a little informal visit with you and you and you. Ain't nothing makes me more happier than calling the pig up to the trough because we know we're going to have a ham down in Alabama. Ain't that right, Coop? That is sure <laughs> the truth. So let's get busy with them. Maybe they'll come to the trough. <laughs> Show him that old troll. <laughs> I got these hard calling crooners blues. I got these hard calling crooners blues. Oh, well, I got these blues from my head down to my shoes. Mm, I'm going down to the old Swanee River Swamp. I'm going to take me a big sack full of corn, not a nubbin in that bag. Man, I'm telling you, it's a long grain golden den. I'm going down to the river swamp. I'm going to take me a sack full of corn. I'm going to call them pigs from night till early morning. Look yon, they're coming. Well, them pigs, they're coming on the run. They got their tails filled over the bag, man. They're making the sand fly. <laughs> Look yon, they're coming. The pigs, they're coming on the run. Well, they're coming, yeah, to get some dish of good old golden den corn. Blues me with that flat top coat. like this. Get me a rose cone lighted knot and let me run the old brute sow waving that little speckled show. Come here somebody, come here. Or oh, get me a rose cone lighted knot and let me run the old brute sow oh, wave them that little speckled show. Cause if she hit him with long touches, well she gonna cut that little boy's throat. trough <laughs> well maybe they've about had enough of this uh, maybe they haven't so we'll kind of sort of rock the baby to sleep for you if he's kind of annoying you we go back to the days of the old boy with a straw hat long about my time too jimmy rogers rock our babies to sleep Oh, show me the man who never could love Well, a sweet little innocent child Well, a dear little baby who never would cry Wouldn't make a wild man become mild Some folks find enjoyment away from their home But old Lou to his fireside he will keep Well, I never will roam all I just stay at home And rock my little baby to sleep my dear little wife, she's the joy of my life. She's just ten years younger than me. 
she's fond of enjoyment, likes plenty of fun, and often goes out on a spree. While I stay behind, my baby to mine, my house in good order I do keep. Well, I never do roam, oh, I just stay at home, and I rock that little baby to sleep. One night I had just got my baby to sleep, and I took a short walk in the street. And to my surprise, all I saw with my eyes, my wife with a radio announcer about six feet. <laughs> Well, I nearly went wild, but when I passed them a smile, I said I've been taking a peep. They'd been hugging and kissing each other like fun while I rocked that little baby to sleep. You're cute as a mule. <laughs> Boys, I believe we're ready. <laughs> two flat tops and a dobro, and Junior with that basso, and me with these two chords. Here we go. Modulation. I'm Alabama bound. There'll be no heebie jeebies hanging round. Just gave the meanest ticket man on earth, oh, all I'm worth. To put my tutus in an upper berth, oh, hear the choo-choo sound. All out for here and there and everywhere, all oh, good chillin' come with me. We gonna have an Alabama Jubilee. My old friend Cope, there's me old friend Josh, and there's me young friend Juna. <laughs> Ah, oh, it looks like we're gonna pass around a little bit of our southern hospitality. Is that right, boys? Yeah, that's right. Well, I wanna go south where the southern hospitality, that's the place for me. I'm back in Tennessee, well, that's where I should be. Take me away, that's cotton picking and some southern home fried chicken, Georgia, Mississippi, or Alabama. Just as long as we down south is where I am I want to go south Where no other folks will care for me The big towns ain't so fine Done been away too long Take the back where I belong Or below the Mason Dixon line Said I want to go south Where the southern hospitality That's the place for me City slickers call us hicks, but we love it in the sticks. Cornbread and turnip greens are smoking. That's eating folks, and I ain't joking. Texas, Arkansas, or Louisiana. Just as long as we down south is where I am. I want to go south. Where no other folks will care for me. The big towns ain't so fine. Done been away too long. Take me back where I belong. Or below the Mason Dixon line. Said I want to go south where the southern hospitality, that's the place for me. Well, a watermelon on the vine and a window is spring through the pines. Let me see that cotton blossom set and eating that date and possum. Florida, Virginia, or Carolina. Just as long as we down south as where I am, I want to go south. Well, no, the folks will care for me. The big towns ain't so fine. Done been away too long, take me back where I belong Below the Mason Dixon line, I ain't a joke and Below the Mason Dixon line Boy, that's the first recording of that one Because <laughs> I was the one that read it And this is the first time I've had a chance to record it And thank you very much, Mr. Recording Man For letting me record that Southern Hospitality We got that down south here we got all of our good friends from the north and the southland, a lot of our good friends from the southland and the northland. We're all one great big body, yes sir. Southern hospitality reigns everywhere right now. I got a story for you. Old Lou, yes sir, he's got a story for you that goes back when I was a little bitty boy. I'm telling you, Cope, I've got a memory, ain't I? If I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> My dad used to sing it to me. It was about one of our upright citizens of our county, Covington County, Op, Alabama. He picked up things that didn't belong to him, or he took them away from other people. But when he went on, he had a song that was written about his grace, George Collins. 
George Collum, George Collum rode home one night. George Collum rode home one night. George Collum rode home one cold winter night. Take and sick and die. Little Mary was sitting in yonder room, sewing her silk so fine. And when she heard George Collum was dead, she laid her silks aside. The saddest hour that ever I spent was when George Collum died. The saddest hour that ever I spent was by George Collum's side. She followed him up, she followed him down. She followed him to his grave And there she was on bended knees She weeped and mourned and prayed Oh daughter, oh daughter, why do you weep so? There's plenty more boys like George Oh mother, oh mother, he broke my heart Now he's dead and gone Lift up the coffin, screw back the lid, lay back the linen so fine, and let me kiss his pale blue lips, for I know that they will never kiss mine. Look out at John the turtle dove, flying from vine to vine. He's weeping and mourning for his true love. The same as I'm mourning for mine. Ah, the good old folksy songs of long ago. Papa and Mama and all the children too might be listening in. That one was especially for you. <laughs> We'd like to kind of sort of invite them to let these flat tops and that bass get together here and come in to see you. If the front door key is handy, <laughs> Hang it out, will you? Here comes old Lou. Come on, guitar. Now Percy Wilson gay, oh, he left his wife every day. Then she would always say, be home on time. He promised her he would, then swore that he'd be good. But Percy never could quite settle down. Cause when his work was through, he'd find a friend or two, then they just play around the town. Well, he'd call his wife up every night at home, and this is what he'd say on the telephone. You boys like to know what he'd say? Yeah. He'd say, hang out that front door key, love, hang out that front door key. Don't you wait up for me, love, I may be out till three. Well, I'm with some poor sick friends, love, who do the same for me. So leave a light in the hall tonight and hang out that front door key. Now one night when old Percy got home, he found himself alone. Where mama had gone, he knew not where. Although it served him right, he had an awful fright to think he couldn't find her there. Well, she called him up at three, said, whoop, whoop, baby, this is me. I does it seem to be home all alone. I'm with some friends of mine having so good a time. I don't know just when I'll get home. On the table there he found a little note. Well, he opened it, and this is what Mama Dunn wrote. She said, hang out that front door key, love them. Hang out that front door key, don't you wait up for me, Papa. I spec Mama gonna be out after three. Well, I'm with some poor sick friends, love, who do the same for me. So leave a light in the hall tonight and hang out that front door key. <laughs> That's a good place to break a string, yeah? <laughs> Sorry. Strings don't make any difference much, though. When we go back to the olden times and the friends that enjoy the good old country songs we had years and years ago, and they're coming back strong. Did you know that? Well, good. They must be coming back strong when the old poop deck Pappy Lou kind of sort of gets in here and visits with you, huh? 
Well, I believe we should go to the mountains and kind of sort of cool off the breeze. Would that suit you, Josh? You're an old mountain boy, aren't you? I know Junior there, he hails from up the country, and Cope, I'm telling you, we'll head him for the <laughs> Oklahoma hills. Well, when I was young and in my prime, I left my home in Caroline. Now all I do is sit and pine for all them folks I left behind. I got the Blue Ridge Mountain Blues, and I'm right here to say my grip is packed to travel, and I'll be scratching gravel for my Blue Ridge far away. Man, I've listened for that dobro. Josh, you can't miss an Oscar on that one, can he, Cope? <laughs> well, now I'm going to do right by my pa. I'm going to do right by my ma. I'll hang around that cabin door. No work or worry anymore. I got the Blue Ridge Mountain Blues. And I'm right here to say and the days I'm counting till I'll be climbing the mountain in my Blue Ridge far away. Wait, wait, wait. Do that, do that, I like them fine endings like that, don't you, Cole? Yeah, I mean, that's boy, good. That's away. Well, Junior always hits us that bass note, and that makes us good. Well, we're traveling around in different sections of the country with our Alabama kind of a jubilee express here with four members on board. Old Poop Deck Pappy, Dr. Lou Childer, the old boy from Alabama, he's kind of sort of shoveling in the coal. Junior over there, he's kind of sort of the head conductor. Man, I think Cope is coming along with them heifers. And Josh, we always happy to see him aboard. We might say we got two, this two flat tops and one dobro and that bass. Oh, boy, that ought to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head for the Plains Country, Cope. Would you like to go there? Yeah, that's a good idea. Lou. And ride with little Joe the Wrangler. Little Joe the Wrangler, he'll wrangle never more. His days with the removed of the hour. Was a year ago, last April, he rode into our camp. He was a little Texas stray and all alone. It was late in the evening, he rode up to our herd. On a little Texas pony he called Shaw. His brogan shoes and overalls, a tougher looking kid. You never in your life before had saw. His saddle was of Texas cag made many years ago With an okay spur on one foot lightly swung And his hot roll in the cotton sack it was loosely tied behind And his canteen from his saddle horn was swung He said he'd had to leave his home his paw had married twice And his new mo whipped him every day or two so he saddled up old Joe one night in a little shuck this way And now he's trying to paddle his own canoe he said if we would give him work, he'd do the best he could, though he didn't know straight up about a cow. So the boss, he cut him out of mouth and kindly put him on, for he sort of liked that little kid somehow. He learned him to wrangle horses and try to know them all, and to get them in at daylight if he could. To follow the chuck wagon and always hitch the team, and to help the coast on narrow Russell Wood. We had driven to the Pecos, the weather being fine. We camped on the south side in a bend. When a norther come, it's blowing. We doubled up our guard, for it taken all of us to hold them in. Now little Joe the Wrangler, he was called out with the rest. Though the kid, he'd scarcely reached the herd. When the cattle, they stampeded like a storm along, they fled. And we were all a-riding for the lead. Between the streaks of light and a horse we saw in the lead It was little Joe the Wrangler in the lead He was riding old Blue Rocket with a slicker o'er his head He was trying to check the cattle in their speed At last we got them milling and kindly quieted down And the extra guard back to the wagon went But there was one a-missing and we knew it at a glance it Was our little Texas straight old Wrangler Joe Next morning, just at daybreak, we found a rocket fell in a washout of 20 feet below. Beneath a horse mashed to a pulpit, spur had rung his knell. 
Was I a little Texas stray poor Wrangler Joe? Yes, there is. The sad good old folksy thongs, huh? Well, this year a little spirit might add things. Two things. <laughs> Moonshine on the inside and moonshine on the outside. That makes a fair night, don't it, boys? <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. do, 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 do. The wheeler said one night, in the bright moonlight, I was flirting with a gal on the moon. A wheeler gave that jug, I said, a great big hug, then I wobbled me out a little tune. I said, oh, gee, Miss Moonshine, you got the most delicious kick. I but I'm feeling, I'm feeling sort of drowsy, and I'm afraid you're going to make me sick. <laughs> One little, two little, three little Indian, yeah. four little, five little, six little Indians, seven little, eight little, nine little Indians, all in a row. Yeah. Oh, well, I tossed her over the head spin and I started on my way. Well, it seemed to me that everything got dark and by chance I did stray. Oh, well, it seemed to me I walked around the world when I sit down for a rest. This morning I woke in the county jail. What a sweet little love nest. Girl, lady, old lady, in that jail. Well, the old lady, he is thrown away, Junior. Well, the old lady, the old lady. Oh, gee, Miss Moonshine, you got the most ferocious kick. Oh, well, you put me here behind these bars, and you sure did make me sick. Come here, boys. Come here, boys. Come here, boys. Oh, come on in here. Tell you all is for you, good and mine. If my wife gets in this year old jailhouse, I where we won't be worth a dime. <laughs> well, so we kind of sort of want to head back toward the mountains, I guess. To get in that kind of shape, talking about the moonshine. <laughs> They live on one side of the hill, and we live on the other, boy, the Martins and the Coys. Now gather around, you chillin', I'm gonna tell you a story. All the mountains in the days when guns were low. When two families got to shooting, it was bound to end in shooting. All oh, fuel is, and I'm gonna tell you what I saw. Oh, the Martins and the Coys, they were reckless mountain boys. They'd take a family feudin' when they'd meet. Well, they'd shoot each other quicker than it took the eye to flicker And they could knock the squirrel's eye out at 90 feet All their fighting started one bright Sunday morning When old Grandpa Coy was full of Mountain Dew Just as quiet as a church mouse, he stole into Martin's hen house Because the Coy's wanted some eggs for breakfast too Oh, the Martins and the Coy's, they were reckless mountain boys But old Grandpa Coy, he's gone where the angels live when they found him on the mountain, he was bleeding like a fountain. They punctured him till he looked just like a seal. After that, the fighting started out in earnest. And they scarred the mountains up with shot and shell. There were uncles and brothers and cousins. Oh, they bumped them off by dozens. Just how many bit the dust, it's hard to tell. Oh, the Martins and the Coys, they were reckless mountain boys. At the art of killing, they'd become quite dead. Well, they didn't mean to do it, but before they hardly knew it, on each side they only had one person left. Now the sole remaining Martin was a maiden, and as pretty as a picture was this grace. While the one surviving boy was the handsome Henry Coy, and the folks all knew they'd soon meet face to face. So they finally met upon the mountain pathway, and Henry Coy, he aimed his gun at Grace. He was set to pull that trigger when he saw her pretty figure. Man, you could tell the love that kicked him in the face. Oh, the Martins and the Coys, they were reckless mountain boys. They'll say their ghostly cousin would give you chills. Sure, the hatchet it was buried when Sweet Grace and Henry married. And it broke up the best darn feud in these here hills. Now you may think that this is where the story ended. But I'm telling you, them ghosts don't walk no more. 
Cause oh, since Grace and Henry wedded, they fight worse than the rest did, and they carry on that feud just like before. This is a story of the Martins and the Coyles. <laughs> well, that was an extravagando in, and I don't mean maybe. <laughs> well, we have our fun and we have our sadness. We have a lot of gladness. But we all come together now and think a way back and have a dream of the best place to live, our good old USA. The key is C, gentlemen. Well, the soldier in camp was dreaming, dreaming of his lady of land. Well, he saw her noble statesman and her bloodstained hero's grand. Well, he saw her sailors and her soldiers And her boys in blue and gray And it dawned unto his comrades Well, these words I heard him say I saw Washington cross the Delaware I saw Stark mid the mountains green I saw Warren fight at a Bunker Hill And the Jackson at New Orleans I saw David Crockett at the Alamo, Taylor fight at Monterey, and they all fought for our liberty in my dream of the USA. Yes, I would dream of the USA and Alabama. I'm Alabama bound. So long. <laughs> 